Lord Deven. Now to this week's case study. Prescription glasses like these uh, can be somewhat expensive. To make matters worse, they're easy to lose. They're fragile and they can easily break. Those issues led two Australians to set up a new company called Dresden Optics. With prescription glasses that start at only $49 each, the company has a unique business model. The glasses come in one design, which is like this, but they're available in many different colour combinations. You can also get your glasses made on the spot in the shop, so there's no waiting for customers. The glass frames are also recyclable, the parts are replaceable, and some of them are made from recycled Lego and things like recycled milk cartons. They're very sturdy as well. I caught up with co-founder Bruce Jeffries to find out more about Dresden's innovative approach to glasses. Jeffries, thanks for coming on Smart Money. For viewers who aren't familiar with Dresden, what makes you different to other optometrists? Well, the main difference is that we didn't actually come from the optometry industry. We actually came to it as customers. We were unhappy with how our glasses, and we were frustrated with glasses and how they worked, and so we designed our own system. And happy to say, since launching the product, it has, hasn't just worked for us, it's also worked for lots of other people, and we've now got four stores uh, in Sydney and Melbourne. Your prescription glasses start at $49 each. How are you able to make it so cheap? Well, the key thing is making things simpler. So we, we, we realised with glasses, there's thousands of different frame shapes and different, different styles, and we've basically simplified it down to our unique style. And in doing that, we've made the manufacturer and actually the customer getting a pair of prescription glasses really fast and really affordable. Now, when people go to an optometrist, there can be a wait of up to a week before you get it back. Yet here, you can actually deliver it in store at the same time as people come in. How do you do that? Well, what we've done is we've, we've really wanted to provide a level of convenience that people have, like when they get a coffee or when they, when they basically you know, drop in on any shop. We, we didn't understand why it would take so long. And part of the reason is a lot of the actual production of the, of the, the, of the fitting of the lens is done off-site. So we've brought it on-site. We've got the equipment right here. We keep the lenses here, and which means we can just turn it around straight away. Now, prescription glasses can often be pretty fragile. How have you changed your manufacturing process to make the glasses more durable? Well, this is a core thing that we wanted to change. Um, as a, a parent with young kids, they were continually breaking my glasses, they were continually throwing them around, and we really wanted to make a pair of glasses that was really strong. So we, we changed the materials. We use a really strong nylon, uh, which is durable, but also really flexible. And so that means that they're really tough. And then we then put a 10-year warranty on the frame to show that these glasses that can actually take some tough treatment. What are you doing to reduce your raw material bills through the recycling and reuse of materials? Well, because we manufacture locally, we can basically control what we use in the manufacturing. So uh, the exciting thing is that you know, people can bring in things like these uh, you know, milk bottle tops. Uh, this is another example, which is a keg lid, which is discarded in, in the brewing industry. Uh, and we can basically make those into uh, brand new frames, right down to discarded fishing nets, which have turned out to be the best material that we've reused so far. So we can do a lot of uh, repurposing of old materials we can also take people's uh, frames that they've got uh, sitting around at home that are perfectly good that possibly just need a new pair of lenses and we can replace the lenses in those too. And then with, our, with, with the, the entire modular frame system, if you break one part of it, we can just replace that bit rather than having to replace the whole thing. Now, a lot of glasses are made overseas and as you say, you're making them here in Australia. Why is that important to you? Well, the critical thing is to be really close to the customer. So from basic things like what colours are people wanting, you'll see in the store there's an incredible range of colours down to what materials uh, that we make them out of. So it means that customers can suggest things, they can bring in things like discarded Lego or bottle tops or whatever they've got lying around. And so we can be really, really responsive to what people need. Final question. You've named your business after a city in Germany. You often talk about German efficiency. What can viewers watching now learn from German uh, efficiency and German businesses? A big thing that we took from German business culture was that they don't just plan out one year or two years, but they plan out you know, for the long term. And so, yeah, the 10-year warranty on our glasses is an example of that. We're, we're looking long term. We want our business to be around as long as our frames. And so we're essentially very focused on the way that German businesses uh, don't just look you know, in the short term and then 
they build a culture within that business where waste and recycling is a core part of, of how they operate. As you just saw, Dresden Optics has established a very unique business model. There are three things that I learnt from looking at their approach. First up, with new developments in technology, it's often now easier to manufacture in Australia. With Dresden, they assembled their glasses in store with locally made frames and high quality Zeiss lenses. Secondly, don't be afraid to rewrite your sector's business model. With Dresden, their decision to assemble in store means that most of their customers have no waiting time for their glasses. Finally, by using recycled content like Lego bricks and milk carton lids, Dresden have great looking products with an interesting backstory that appeals to their customers. It creates sales and it reduces their environmental impact at the same time.